What's up again guys, Nostalgia Rules. I'm a newer eBay reseller. And today we're gonna go to our fifth garage sale. So stick around and let's have some fun. So this, today was my like, I think fourth garage sale that I've been to since, uh, you know, all this stuff has been going on. Um, not really going to mention it, but you know what I'm talking about. So, um, this one was another one that was close to me and it started at 10 and I was actually like 10 minutes. I was there 10 minutes after. So there was a lot of good stuff there. Uh, one thing that I seen, they had uh, some receivers there. I know receivers go for a lot of money and guys, these were like super cheap. They were like $2, $5. I've seen people on YouTube, um, I think Commonwealth Picker, uh, he sold a receiver for uh, a lot of money. I some are like 150 bucks depending on what brand it was. I didn't pay too much attention to that because I don't know how to ship those. That's a very, very heavy item and it would cost the buyer a lot of money, like 30 or $40 to ship it because it's, the thing weighs like 10 pounds. So um, I didn't really pay too much attention to that, but I did get some other stuff and I've already looked up some prices and I did pretty well. So all together, I'm gonna to tell you guys right now, I paid, for this stuff, I paid $17 and my um, gross or net, is it net or gross? Either way, uh, my final um, potential earnings are uh, somewhere around $100 for this stuff. So I'm getting like 80 bucks back after fees, probably around 60. So around 50 bucks in return. So I'm just gonna talk about them. All right, so uh, this is the uh, top of the pop hits of the 60s, volume one. I wasn't able to find a sold listing for this, but um, the other one I have goes for around the same amount, so we're gonna say uh, 15, 20 bucks. Uh, media mail, I mean, that's the great thing about media mail, as long as it's CD, DVD, uh, whatever, uh, look up the restrictions on that. But um, CDs and DVDs for sure, uh, you could have something in a box that weighs 50 pounds and it'll ship for like three bucks, 280, three bucks. Okay, so this next thing, this is the same thing, but of the 50s. And uh, this one is, I saw some sold listings for around, as I mentioned, around $20. So very good. Um, I might lot these together. I don't know, we'll see. And I checked out some of the CDs already and there's barely any kind of scratches or anything on them, so that's good. I got this nice book here, 100 years of Ford. This was a dollar. I should be able to sell this for, um, I mean, it's pretty extensive, maybe 10 or 12, somewhere around there. I got this Howdy Doody, the best of Howdy Doody DVD set. Now I looked these up and uh, I think I paid a dollar for this and they're like nine, anywhere from nine to $20. I also got, uh, th which this I didn't test, was uh, this Canon Power Shot camera. Uh, they, I think they said they wanted five, and I asked them if they want, would take three, and they took three for it, so that's cool. My last couple things here, Samsonite luggage strap, I think I paid a dollar for this, and the original retail was 12, compare it 15, so that's pretty good. Um, the other thing I got was this laptop bag which this is American Tourister laptop bag. <laughs> you know, this thing, uh, all the stuff looks very new. It's all coming from a smoke-free home 
Because if someone smokes, you're going to be able to instantly tell. Like, as soon as you touch something, you can tell that they're a smoker. So this is good. Um, total Recall. I actually bought this for myself. It was only a dollar. And all their stuff was in really good condition. See? No uh, scratches or nothing on that. So that's good. And Arnold is the man. He's got a lot of good movies. So... That was pretty much it for the garage sale. You know, I it was an older couple, and usually older people take very good care of their stuff. I don't know what it is, but that's just, you know, it is what it is. So all this stuff is in really good condition. Um, I'm not gonna have any problem selling this stuff online. And I'm very happy with what I found, and I was happy that I was one of the first people there. So, one last thing, uh, not so much garage sale related, but I can't have a channel called Nostalgia Rules and not talk about nostalgia. So, really quickly, uh, we have an N64, the original system with some controllers and games that uh, basically this was uh, like a secondhand purchase that we've had forever. And it kind of worked before. So uh, we know somebody that restores old systems. It's uh, Scotty's, uh, I think it's Scotty's Retro Repair Shop. I'm gonna take a screenshot of the uh, his business name and I'm gonna link him below in the description. Now, he did an amazing job on this system. It was pretty filthy on the inside and the buttons would stick, like it would keep able to like reset itself on its own because the buttons were really messed up. And he did a really awesome job at restoring the system. He also does, uh, he does new and old systems. So, you know, N64, and like regular Nintendo, PlayStation 4, whatever. Um, so I'm gonna link him below. Uh, contact him if you have any systems that need restoring. I mean, he can order parts, and uh, he's really good at what he does. And I'm really happy with the job that he did. So on to the main event. We're going to talk about the stuff that I bought from my favorite replay, disc replay store. I was going to say favorite uh, reselling store. Uh, but the store is called Disc Replay. Uh, they have all kinds of stuff from Nintendo to Xbox One, movies, uh, vinyl records, pop figures, laptops, uh, whatever you can think of, CDs. They have all kinds of stuff like that. So um, basically I went there to buy a couple things because now I have a working Nintendo 64. And my receipt's stuck on this, of course. Okay, so... I got this for $6.99, WCW versus NWO Revenge. This game is awesome. And I remember me and my friends played this for hours and hours and hours. It was a lot of fun. So um, I already have a wrestling game. It's uh, WWF No Mercy, but I had to get Revenge and for $7, why not? So I also bought, um, because I have new games now and I only have one working memory card that's currently holding uh, Tony Hawk 1, which uh, check out uh, Tony Hawk 1 and 2, the remake coming in September. I already pre-ordered mine for Xbox One. All right, so I got a memory card here. This is a, a third party memory card plus memory card. Uh, I haven't really heard any issues with these ones. And then this is a uh, Nintendo 64 control pack. This is an actual licensed Nintendo product. And this is $2.99. And this other one I think was um, a couple $2.99, $3. And then the last thing I got was these uh, extension cables. These are two of the same thing, so I don't really need to talk about them. but extension cables for the N64 controllers so you don't have to sit right next to the TV. And that's pretty much it guys. Um, all in all it was a good day. I got some good stuff 
and uh, I'm excited to list. You know, uh, I went quite a while there without being able to really source anything. So finding this stuff is awesome and I'm excited to put it online and see where it goes, uh, add to my listings. I think I'll be up to uh, maybe 65 or 70 after I include this stuff here. So um, check out my eBay, I'm gonna list it below. I accept all reasonable offers, reasonable as in if I charge $18 for some, if I'm pricing something at $18, don't offer me $2 for it. That's not reasonable, but if you offer me, you know, 12, 13, you know, even 11, that's a little bit more reasonable than I'll, we can work something out. And uh, I have new stuff, I have old stuff, I have in package stuff that's, you know, brand new. All my stuff is, uh, it comes from a smoke free home, a healthy and smoke free home. So uh, you're not gonna get any nasty smells from anything you buy from me. I ship out uh, typically within one business day, you know, if possible. Usually if you order something at night, nine times out of 10, it's gonna go out the very next day. I try to already have my stuff packaged up and all that. So uh, you guys check out my eBay. And uh, today's Friday, so happy weekend. And everyone take it easy, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.